Over the years, many people have told me that it's very difficult for them to know what God wants because God doesn't communicate clearly with them, so they don't understand what to do. However, when they communicate with other people, they seem to be able to communicate and get responses just fine. And I have to admit, there are times when I wish God would be much clearer with me and tell me exactly what I need to hear instead of being met with silence. God communicating that clearly with people has only happened on rare occasion throughout history. One such time was with St. Francis of Assisi. This was back in the 1100s. St. Francis was kind of a wild child. He was not a very devout Catholic or Christian. In his later adult years, he fought in a war and his side lost and he ended up being a prisoner of war. During that time, he became a very devout Catholic. His friends and family kind of abandoned him, but he didn't let that stop him. He continued to pray, and he liked to pray in this old ruined church. In that church where he prayed, there was a cross with a statue of Jesus on the cross. And one day, Jesus spoke to him and said, Repair my church. Well, St. Francis thought he meant to renovate and, and repair and fix up this old dilapidated church. But he misunderstood Jesus' message. What Jesus meant was to repair his church, the entire church. See, during that time, there were lots of issues and scandals in the Catholic Church. And because St. Francis had such deep devotion, he lived a very poor life, but he was a very devout Catholic, and he touched the lives of many Catholics, bishops, popes, plus other people's lives that he came in contact with and helped them find God. And it was those people who helped the church become holy once again. That example of St. Francis is very powerful, but it does not happen very often. Does that mean that God isn't communicating with us at all? No, of course not. He communicates with us in many ways. For example, through the Bible. Today's scripture, he t Jesus says to us, Go forth and tell people about God and the good news. Now, does that scripture speak specifically to Jesus' disciples? No, it speaks to all of us today. That as we read it, that we need to go forth and tell people about the good news. I find it funny that today there are so many people out there who aren't afraid to speak up and talk about politics or air their private lives. They have no qualms about doing that or even about telling a dirty joke to people. But when it comes to talking about and sharing God's love, they stop. That's kind of funny, and I think it's important for us to continue to share God's message. We don't have to be preachers. We don't have to preach at people. We just need to give them a simple message like God loves you, or bless you, or God will help you. Those little things can touch and change people's lives. Yes, we may be met with some criticism, Yes, we may be persecuted in some ways, just like the disciples were. Some of them were even killed. But it doesn't matter. The more we do it, the more we spread news about God's love. And that's what Jesus is trying to tell us in today's scripture. Go forth and tell people about God's love. Share his good news. God bless you all.